moving on swiftly, I've got a few questions for you today is that, and it's to do with the new approach, yes. right? It's a multi-layered approach to the Qur'an that we're, we're offering instead of these miracles. And it's far more profound in many ways. It right? is profound. It allows people to basically do, do, to do tadabbar on the Qur'an, to ponder upon the Qur'an. Yes, it doesn't give you like, here's a miracle. It's not like fireworks and angels coming yeah. down, but it actually is is more warm in a way it's more, it allows you to really have a relationship with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to really ponder upon its verses because Allah says Afa, al Quran. do they not reflect upon the Quran or are there locks on their hearts so from this perspective the more pondering we do the more our hearts may become unlocked to receive the mercy and guidance of Allah now this is not only the multi-layered approach it's called the multi-leveled approach. approach as well so what does the multi-layered and multi-leveled approach mean very simple. The Quran uses a word for a description of a particular natural phenomenon. Yep. Okay. That word has many layers of meaning because we know the Arabic language is rich. It doesn't have an infinite number of meanings, but it has a scope according to the classical dictionaries as preserved in the early centuries of Islam. So you have many layers of meaning. Each layer of meaning addresses different levels of understanding over time. Right. Okay. This is very profound. So the Quran uses a word with many layers of meaning and each layer of meaning addresses different levels of understanding over time. Which is more in line with what the Quran is supposed to do because the whole raison d'etre, the reason for existence if you like for many of these verses concerning natural phenomena are there to make you think about the fact that Allah deserves to be worshipped. There's yeah. wisdom in the universe. If you look at the classical exegesis, be scholarly about this, not many of the tafasir, the exegetical works actually spoke about scientific miracles or nuances. Many of them said, that's not the job of the verses. Yes. The job of the verses is to make you, for you to do your own reflection, to conclude that Allah deserves to be worshipped and there's wisdom in the universe. Not that there's something very specific about the kind of words that are used and correlating it with, 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 yeah. with the scientific findings. No, because science changes over time. It's there just to act as a signpost. A right. signpost to divine wisdom. A signpost to, to, to the worship of the divine.